It's been a little over a month since Slipknot released their new album, The End So Far, which was the follow-up to their 2019 record, We Are Not Your Kind. Of course, this is the final record with Roadrunner, who they signed with all the way back in 1998. Roadrunner during that time underwent some very big changes, and members of Slipknot have talked about how they didn't feel like the label was really adding a lot of value for them, particularly in their later years with the label. And now in a new interview with NME, Clown is discussing the possibility that Slipknot may not do albums in the future, but rather focus on releasing singles. And we're going to talk about that here in just a second. But first, I want to say thank you to everybody watching Rockfeed. We have a lot of returning viewers and many of you haven't subscribed yet. So if you could take just a quick second to hit that subscribe button, it's directly supporting us. And we really, really appreciate that. So in this new interview with NME, Clown is discussing how Slipknot may move forward now that they're completely in control of their career. They are independent now. Maybe they'll launch their own label. We don't know what they're going to do exactly yet. But again, the sky is the limit for Slipknot now. And Clown is discussing potentially not doing albums in the future, but rather focusing just on singles. And for those of you that might be bummed by that, there is actually a lot of evidence and a lot of data that says that might be the smart move for a band like Slipknot and what that also could mean for the fans and how that could add a lot of value for the fans is that rather than waiting two or three or four years to get a new record or new music from Slipknot, the band could release music much more frequently and they could focus a lot more on individual songs and experiences and the video and it's just a lot different in the age of streaming. I do think this is a fair consideration for the band. We'll talk more about that in a second, but here's what Clown said. He said that he was, quote, in love with the idea of having no restrictions. I always thought, what would it be like if Slipknot was big enough that we weren't held to albums? He said, hey, instead of waiting two years for 12 songs, I'm going to give you one song every month. So in reality, I'm shaving a year off of the same thing. You have to go with me on this journey, but what I promise you is there's artwork that goes with it, there's utility that goes with it, it's cheaper than what a normal individual song would be, and it's gone through all the filters, it's gone through the band, it's gone through Corey Taylor, it's gone through a professional mixer and masterer. No avenues have been chopped up, it's all business as usual, and we want to do this because we think it's time for you, our fans, to get everything. He added, I've always thought it would be interesting for our fans to know more about us. So if The Clown and Corey Taylor and Jim Root were all interested in playing with the number one star player on the planet, and we would be because we're artists, and we brought this person to our location, and this person adorned us with their craft and taught us about the sitar, if we got to sit and listen and partake and touch and smell and feel that vibration, wouldn't it be interesting? Let's just say that sitar player on a label and they have management. Well, fuck it. I'm going to call them up directly, and they're only going to have to talk to their label, and their label's going to have to talk to my management. It's not going to be my label and their label and my management and their management and then me and the artist. When it's like that, we never get to work together, and we never get to make this piece of art. So being free in that sense gives us the freedom to explore deeper, more surreal opportunities to hone in with our craft. It's a win-win for everyone. The philosophy is for fans to be sucked into thought rather than just heavy metal, record labels, video channels, radio. No, it's the love of music. You love us as artists. You love our band. You know we have our own filter. Look at what we can do when we are free to dip our paintbrushes anywhere. So I think this is one of the most important interviews that any member of Slipknot has ever done because if these things come to fruition, this is a seismic shift for the band. They're taking a very big risk here, but I think that that risk will pay off for them because this is much more in line with the current modern state of the music industry and the immediacy that these streaming services give you than the album format, that traditional two-year album cycle. You're seeing a lot of people who have already benefited from this. I got to give credit to Falling in Reverse, who were very much on the cutting edge of releasing singles only. They've been doing this for several years now, and it has worked very, very well for them. They seem to focus and perfect those songs and those videos before they come out, and it looks like you're able to take more time on the individual songs than you are when you're working on an album, because the album requires you to focus on 10 different things 
things at once. Whereas for a band like Slipknot, who have already proven themselves, it seems like they've more than earned the right to focus individually on these songs without that label kind of breathing down their neck with those deadlines. And for the fans, the benefit is clear because you get music far more frequently than songs that might have been recorded a year and a half ago, but you have to wait for that, oh, we want it to come out in this quarter because this is when we need the earnings to come in. There are just so many factors that are under consideration for release windows when it comes to bands. And in this case, it looks like Slipknot is taking risk, but they're taking pragmatic risk. They are certainly going to be on the forefront of the music industry going forward. If I had to guess, they have really smart management. They are all obviously very intelligent in the band. They know this game better than anybody else. And it's really exciting to hear this. Uh, I think they are right on the money with this. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's next for Slipknot. This is I think going to be great for the fans. The album format is just really a dated thing in today's society. And so if they lean into this and they do this right, I think it's a potential to continue to reach fans around the world. And it's very exciting. So kudos to Slipknot. It sounds like they're right on the ball with this. And thank you again for tuning into Rockfeed. If you're new here, we really appreciate you tuning in. You can hit that subscribe button and check out the recommended video up on the screen.